Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Rose and today we are going to be talking about fashion. Now, of course, my channel is dedicated to teaching videos, but once in a while I like to throw in some outfit ideas. Now that New York is allowed to go out and dine and um, we're allowed to go and eat outside, I was like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Phase three and four is about to take place. If I decide to go outside, what am I going to wear? Because I'm now in that stage where I have just been in comfort clothes for so long that getting like done up, done up just seems like such a task. Although I want to still feel nice and feel good, a part of me doesn't want to like go crazy with the outfits. So I put together these outfits for you guys. I don't even remember how much I have. It might be seven or eight. I honestly forgot to keep count. But I wanted to show you guys, now that I am going outside, um, what am I wearing? What am I wearing to go out and eat with friends? What am I wearing to barbecues? What am I wearing if Miguel and I decide to go out on a date or maybe go for a walk? What am I putting on my body? The first outfit I wanted to talk about is this really casual black t-shirt dress from Zara. I ordered this dress when it was on sale for maybe like $13, $14. Now it's about $20 on their site, which is still 100% affordable. But again, when I purchased it, it was so cheap. And I usually don't go for things like this because um, I'm so tiny, I'm so short, that sometimes these things can look frumpy on me. But again, because it's just like a no hassle type of outfit, I wanted to throw this on. I put on a black crossbody bag and then I also paired it with a hat. I figured that something so casual would look adorable with a hat and I found this hat from Forever 21. I'm not really one to wear hats. I feel like my head is kind of small and so hats never sit right on my head. But this one fits so well. When I saw the review saying that it fits small, I was like, oh, that, that's for me. So I paired that together and um, I'm just gonna show you guys a clip of what shoes I would wear with this. Next outfit, I am all for wearing jean shorts in the summer, especially these. These are from a while ago, I think Pretty Little Thing, but I love that they are such a balloon style. They almost look like a, a like flared out skirt from far. So I really like wearing something like this with the tank that I have is also from Zara. I bought these in every single color that they are available. I have a white, I have a black, and I have a tan. You have, you will see every single one of them in this video, but I paired that together. You'll see the bag as well. And then I'll also throw in a clip of the shoes that I would pair with these. These are my, I guess, Salitos is how you pronounce it. And um, I think that they're like the perfect shoe to put on. Uh, to make it a little bit more sporty, but still make it girly. So that's really why I love those shoes is because they're the perfect balance of like I'm wearing a sneaker, but not really because it's still very, very girly. So the next outfit, um, I bought these shorts last year from Old Navy and I had originally purchased them because we were going to Miami and I was like, oh my God, what a fun like pair of shorts to wear. I ended up loving them. I feel like they fit so well. And then again, you see the tank there from Zara. Honestly, I would also pair these with my white Salido sneakers. And then I would throw on like a black bag with this just to cut up all the light colors. I know some people may also want to put like a beige bag, but for me, I feel like it's just too beigey. Like it's, it just needs something like rough to kind of break it up. So I would wear a black bag with this. Um, but this outfit I really love it's so easy this is something that I would wear if Miguel was like hey we're gonna go out today like let's like do something fun I put this on because it's a little bit more extra than like the normal thing that I would wear on a day to day next outfit I absolutely love I have worn this um, to this like a uh, garden type of event I went with my friends to the botanical gardens and I wore this one it was the perfect outfit for a garden but two I just felt so comfortable I did wear it with like a white t-shirt when I went with my friends and I tied a knot but I really like this tank because it's form-fitting I don't have to worry about making it fit to my waist and then the color of the blue is adorable I haven't seen anyone wear like these silk 
skirts. I feel like it was such a fad last year and then no one is wearing them this year. And I don't care because I think it's adorable. I love the color, I love the length. I love everything about it and how it makes me feel. I feel so girly and so pretty when I wear this. And then again, I would be wearing these with those Salido sneakers. Those are my go-to shoes for the summer. If I'm not wearing like flip-flops to the beach, I'm wearing those sneakers. The next outfit I think is absolutely adorable. So it is these green like paperweight shorts that I bought from Forever 21 about two years ago. And I believe that this white and gray striped shirt is also from Forever 21. The reason why I like this outfit so much is because one, it's very airy and light. So even though it's like a button down, it's so lightweight. And then the shorts, the green, I just feel like you really can't go wrong with a pair of paperweight shorts. Because the shorts are a little bit more, um, they're not necessarily casual, like this outfit altogether is not a very casual outfit, but to make it casual, I would definitely throw on a pair of sneakers, not even my Salidos, like I would throw on a pair uh, like my Reebok sneakers just to make this super duper casual because it can definitely fall within the line of like, where are you going? You look a little extra. So by throwing on a pair of sneakers, it definitely breaks that up and makes it feel a little bit more grungy and a lot more casual. But I love this pairing together. I love wearing patterned shirts with like a solid bottom and then the color contrast. It just feels really nice, very summery. And so this is definitely an outfit that I would be wearing this summer. Now the next outfit is just my go-to. If you follow me on Instagram, anytime that I left my house, I am probably wearing this. It is that black tank from Zara. The reason why I love those tanks so much is because they're high neck, but then they cut really low on the side but it's not low enough where you see the bra. So I really appreciate that. It's like just enough where you get like the V cut, but you cannot see your bra on the side. And I love that it has the really high neck. I wear this or any one of the three colors with those specific jeans right there that are also from Zara. And with something like this, you can literally put anything on your feet. I would wear the black sandals. I could wear the Salidos with a different color shirt. I can wear sneakers. I can wear flip-flops. This is such a basic outfit and is really how I have been leaving my house pretty much every single day. And I just switch up my shoes, switch up my purse, and I am good to go. Now the last outfit is actually pretty much what I am wearing today. So I've been seeing this whole like shoulder pad trend and so I decided to purchase a shirt. I will say this one is from Mango and it feels a little big on me. This is the size small medium and then they have another size medium large. I feel like the shoulders just like it just goes a little too far out. I know that's like the whole point, but I feel like it kind of just moves around a lot when I'm wearing it and it feels like um I wish it was able to kind of like form to my body a little bit more because it just feels like it just it just kind of slides around and that's the most annoying part about the shirt. But I think the style itself is really cool. I wore them with these long um, shorts also from Pretty Little Thing. I've seen a lot of people cut their denim and then just like wear them like this, like a longer denim. I threw it on with the blue bag, which is so cute, a nice bright pop of color. I'm also gonna show you guys that realistically in the summer, I would have my hair up in a bun. So then I also put my hair up in a bun and I would also throw these on with a pair of sneakers. Without a doubt, I'd wear my black Reeboks with this whole outfit and just keep it with that cool, like easy, so New York kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, so those are all of the outfits that I have put together for you guys for the summer. Again, they're so casual and so basic, but I've really been loving that right now. I've kind of just been liking the natural makeup, the basic outfits, and just letting my beauty speak for itself as weird as that sounds like saying it about yourself but I've kind of just been really liking like keeping things natural and simple and so that's pretty much what this whole video is about and so I hope that you guys like this video I hope that you like the ideas please make sure that you give it a thumbs up hopefully you have found some inspiration on some things to wear for the summer where you can look cute but you're not like doing too much um, and hopefully these are pretty much items that you already have in your closet so you don't have to go out and spend money definitely play around with your clothes and just see what outfits you can create with the things that you already have I love buying minimal 
items like you guys know this about me i love things that don't really um have pattern i love solid colors but i can just mix and match the shirt can go with anything all of those zara shirts can go with any bottom i just love buying things that are just easy to go together um so that i can get multiple uses out of those items so that's pretty much it. Again, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure that you like, that you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in the next one.